Hi, DJ Dino here from Jinxster Games. This is a quick tutorial to get keyboard input into a string. In the first state, we gotta get key down action, and it's looking for the return key. When the return key is pressed, it's gonna send it on event, and then you can save what has been uh, saved in your string. And you can save it to player, perhaps, uh, array maker, or wherever you need it in your project. Now, the next one is again get key down, and it's looking for the backspace key. When this is uh, pressed, it will send the backspace event and goes here, but I will explain this one later. The third one is a custom action called any key store string. What it does is uh, when you press a key, uh, it's going to store this in a string variable and it can send the event and this time it's going to send uh, the next key event and then it goes to this event. The action you can get on the ecosystem is any key and you can just import this to your project. Now, when the action is, uh, when the key is pressed, goes to this state, then we have a build string with two string parts, one with a variable called player name, it's also a string variable, and the keystroke from this action and we'll put them together and it's gonna store back again in the player name then this is only to display on my screen and then it goes back again to this state then when backspace is pressed it's gonna go to this state and then I use the get string length to get how many characters is uh, set already and then I use an uh, and it saves here in the string amount then I use the int at minus one so actually I'm deducting one to the string amount then I use the int compare to check if it's less than zero if it's less than zero it automatically goes back to uh, this state and if not it's going to continue here and then I'm using get string left from the player name and then the string amount so let's say I have like 10 characters here then I use minus one so it's going to be nine on the string amount and it's going to take only the nine characters and not the tenth one and going to store that back again in player name then uh, this is again to set my text here in the screen then when i have the get key up so when i release the key it's going to go back into the this state if i'm going to hold the key then after waiting for 0.2 seconds uh, it's gonna go to this state and it's gonna check first if my uh, wait time is equal or less than 0 0.5 then it's gonna just finish if it's still greater it's gonna deduct 0 0.03 seconds each time it loops. Okay, so then um, the get uh, return key is gonna go to this state to save, and I'll show you now how this works. So I can press keys. And then if I press backspace, 
if I then they go away. So I can press single and when I hold it will gonna take more. And I think I forgot to reset also the float app for this one. So I'll have to set here uh, set set int on the uh, let me check on the wait time to put it back on point two seconds and well that's it now if you want uh, to put a limit on your uh, characters you can add a state this up and check error check character amount then we use a get string length on the player name then store this on uh, int and then we use the int compare so character limit and then let's say we want to limit it to 8 and then uh, we can append limit reached And on the other, just to finish it then. So if it's equal to eight or greater than, it's gonna be limited reached. And if it's less than, it can put unfinished. Even if you don't put finished, it's gonna work also. And put this to the set string. And this is gi giving me an error for some reason here. Oh yeah, limited reach, put it back here. Or you can connect this to another state and give it an error sound or um, uh, you can display maximum uh, characters reached or depends on your um, project, of course. So now Let's go try this. So now six, seven, eight, and I can put anything more. I can put it back and something more. And when I print, press enter, it's done. Thank you for sorry. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye.